Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now, guess what plane we have got right in front of us? Yes, of course, this is the Embraer ERJ-135. And as you can tell, this is a very, very small plane, which is what we're going to talk about today. Yes, this plane's size is very interesting indeed. Welcome to the cockpit of the ERJ-135. Uh, I mean, obviously, we have already talked about the ERJ-145 series. You know, we have planes like the E-145. 45 itself and this one is as you can tell here by this picture a little larger than the 135 obviously makes sense that it's larger because the number is larger as well a plane that is even bigger than the 145 is the 195 which actually they are not the same family of planes but they're both from Embraer as you can tell here this one uh, is quite a lot larger but that's a whole other story we've got the E135 today yes now of course Embraer is Brazilian and um, I don't know why it's worth mentioning that I mean <laughs> doesn't change a lot about the plane it's just a very great plane um, and uh, well it's pretty successful as well especially for a regional plane well, let's go ahead and take off there we go uh, full power, release the brakes and get the flaps going as well. This plane, yes, we can use it on short runways at small airports due to its very small size. I mean, this plane, it doesn't necessarily fly to small airports in real life. Rather, it serves smaller demand routes, but that's a whole other story. It can fly to very small airports as well, which is what we're going to do today. This is the, the whole point of this video is flying this plane to short runways, small airports, and most importantly, challenging airports. I mean, genuinely, this plane is not large. Let's check out the cabin while we're flying here. Yeah, here we've got a nice Easter egg saying, may the force be with you. Very nice. All right, let's check out. Okay, uh, we're not crashing. Looks looks good. Let's check out the cabin. What can we do here? Cabin lights. Can we use that? Oh, well, we can use that. That is so unnecessary, but whatever. As you can tell, this is the cockpit. This is actually, like, genuinely, this plane is kind of a private jet. I mean, there is a private jet version of this plane. It's called the Legacy 600. And uh, that one, I guess, is a little bit more comfortable as a passenger to fly than this one. Because, you know, here in this plane, you can... I mean, you can kind of stand up, but kind of barely, actually. This is not large. And the seats are quite cramped. This is not a very spacious aircraft. But still, it can carry 35 passengers, which is quite impressive for a very small size like this. But yeah, before we talk any further, let's go ahead and land this plane at some places. I mean, we've already taken off from Le Mole. There we go. Pretty short runway, actually. Uh, 1,200 meters, but, you know, 1,200 meters, that's long enough for even a 737 to kind of land. Um, so, yeah, of course, the ERJ-135 did not have any issues with that takeoff. So now the question definitely arises, what comes next? That is obviously a very good question. Honestly, I don't, I don't really know what to follow up with. I mean, we could try some random airfield in Germany around my area, 1,100 meters. Uh, let's see how much of this small runway are we actually going to use. Yeah, this airport is quite a bit more challenging, so let's just see. All right, then the asphalt runway is ahead. For some re reason, the scenery that I've installed is not showing up, but that's another story. We just care about the landing. Now, to get the most stopping performance out of this aircraft, we are going to do the landings today in this video um, very specifically. Not particularly uh, realistically, but we're going to try our best by putting out the speed brakes in flight. So so that we don't actually have to wait for them to come out after touchdown. You know, that'll give us a little bit of a bonus of time there, so that's good. Also, we're gonna land at a very slow speed. As you can tell here, we are flying at 112 knots. Very interesting. Okay, this runway is, uh, it doesn't have any markings on it for some reason. I guess this is an abandoned airport, but let's go ahead and pull out the reverse thrust in mid-flight. There we go. That'll give us a hard landing, but a very quick stop, as we can tell. That was indeed a... A quick one. All right. Okay, so what do we move on with? F from the difficulty level, I guess we could already go very, very short for runways. How about Courchevelle in the Alpine region? That one has an only 500 meter long runway, which is very short indeed, but the runway is also very much sloped. Uh, that slope will definitely help us stop as well. I guess we will be able to stop this plane here as well. Then we can move on to maybe a more challenging runway for this one. All right, then, Cochevel, let's do this. Oh, we have very interesting scenery as well. Let's go ahead and um, try getting this plane landed down here, um, which is going to be an interesting one. Or there's an obstacle on the runway. This is even going to be more interesting than it already was, but let's go ahead and try doing this anyway. All right. We've got the flaps at the full. Everything seems to be ready, so let's go ahead. Uh, oh, my God, no. 
All right, that hasn't worked. Let's try this again, but properly. And all right, now last time we were approaching at a very, very slow speed, which uh, made us crash into the runway. Uh, maybe this airport is a little bit too challenging, actually. This, uh, maybe I've gone a little bit too far on that one. Let's go ahead and try this anyway. Oh, that was not a good landing. Okay, come on. We can stop probably though. And there we go. We have actually stopped. I mean, you know, that was not particularly a smooth landing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was more of a crash there. But uh, we did stop at the end, so that's all good. But kind of, we're actually coming to the limit of this runway. We've almost uh, crashed here into the mountain. So we may not want to go uh, much shorter, right? Of course, uh, we're going to do that anywhere. Where else can we go? We um, Very interesting island, 700 meter long runway. Let's just see if this plane can land there or, or probably not actually but we're just gonna try anyway of course all right welcome to some ocean actually we're in the atlantic right right in front of us we have this very interesting 700 meter long runway okay let's put the landing gear out let's get the plane ready for this landing again let's put these spoilers out in mid-flight which is something you're not supposed to do actually normally but we're just gonna do that anyway all right there we go speed up a little bit let's get rid of some speed like 10 knots or something that's all we need there we go 116 is all right and let's use most of this runway possible there we go all right hard landing but this is needed this was definitely needed let's go ahead and a little bit of action there and we have stopped and we haven't really used half of this runway right that is very impressive actually all right here we go let's see this landing Again, not a very smooth one, but this is needed. All right, there we go. Very nice stop. And yeah, we have actually stopped. And that was, uh, that was really nice. Perfect. Okay, then we can move on to even a smaller island or a port. Let's maybe go to some place like St. Bartholomew. Yeah, St. Bartholomew. Good old Caribbean island. Let's just land our little ERJ jet here. All right, there we go. St. Bartholomew is ahead. Um, this is going to be a very much close call. To make this a little bit of a bigger challenge, let's actually land from the mountainside. As you can tell, there is a little bit of a, like a hill right in front of runway 10 that we have to obviously pass as well, making the approach even harder. That's the reason why we can only see, you know, turboprop planes flying here, like the Twin Otter. Very nice island hopper indeed. A bigger plane just cannot cope with a runway like this. Or is that true? Let's see. Can the ERJ-135 fly here as well? I mean, it can carry quite a few more passengers. So uh, there's a chance. Let's go. All right. We need a little bit less speed. Let's maybe put the reverse thrust out as well. That's ready. There we go. All right. Now the landing. Okay. 100 knots. We are stopping. Let's see if we are stopping quickly enough to uh, actually stop on this runway as well. And not overrun onto the beach, which we haven't. That is very impressive indeed that we've managed to land a jet here at uh, St. Bartholomew Airport. All right, let's watch this landing. Let's go ahead. Damn. And a full stop. So that was actually no problem at all. We can even go much shorter than this one. Very impressive indeed. I mean, where should we go then? Uh, I mean, we can try some more extreme runway like Lukla. Because, you know, that one is in the mountains and, you know. But only 500 meter long runway. 100 meters shorter than this one. But let's see. Maybe we can do this. All right. There we go. We'll come to uh, Nepal. The Himalayan Mountains, indeed. And down here is our destination. Let's just see if we can get this plane landed down here. Let me just say, we are about to get uh, a lot of terrain warnings. Because we're genuinely, like, flying against a mountain there. Yep, this runway is genuinely located on a mountain. So let's just see how well we can do this here. Yep, terrain warnings are starting to come in. Let's get the reverse thrust out as well, even though we do have quite a lot of speed, but we've got quite a lot of, you know, altitude to get rid of as well. Uh, but let's just say, I guess, otherwise this plane is fully ready for this landing. Let's go ahead and land it then. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm not sure about this landing. Come on, we need to pull up a little more because we don't want to actually crash this plane into the ground. That's not our purpose. Oh, come on. All right, that, well, we did exactly what I just described. 4,000 feet per minute, probably a full-on crash, but we have stopped completely, entirely, uh, at Lukla with a jet. Again, not a particularly smooth landing, but, I mean, you know, it was a stop after all. 
So, uh, no worries. We can even go <laughs> shorter than this runway, which is uh, interesting. I mean, where should we go? Let's go, you know, discover some places. How about Helgoland, uh, in a German island with the very short runways, 475 meters. Even shorter than Lukla. But let's just see if our plane can land here as well. Okay, Legoland. I mean, Helgoland. Right, island is right ahead. Uh, not a long runway, as you can tell. You know, I wouldn't even fly here with uh, a Cessna, actually. I wouldn't fly here at all <laughs> in real life but whatever we're just gonna fly here anyway let's go this is not gonna be a smooth landing again i can already say okay maybe we've gone too far there oh no let's try this again all right not that much of a hard landing this time around but i guess we won't be able to stop though stop please oh we have overrun we have overrun i think there's a person there oh no that was a slight overrun there but we haven't really used this whole runway we have to try this again Alright, a little bit of a harder landing, but I guess this will be successful. This is looking pretty good. There we go. And uh, I think we've actually gotten quite ridiculous here. The Embraer E-135 is definitely a very impressive plane when it comes to stopping. There we go. Boom. That was actually not even that much of a hard landing. That was totally acceptable. And a super quick stop. Nothing to complain about here, really. I mean, we could try going to the shortest runway that there is. <laughs> How about Saba? Yeah, let's go ahead. A 300 meter long runway. I'm not joking about this. We, we will probably overrun, but, you know, it's worth trying. All right, come on. Oh, there we go. Not a very smooth landing, but actually quite acceptable. This was not a crash landing, and uh, I cannot believe this. I think we are... We have, we have stopped on this 300 meter long runway. That is absolutely ridiculous. Let's watch this landing. Damn. All right, this plane is definitely Swiss Citizen 1 approved, isn't it? Okay, there we go. The reverse thrusters and a landing. Not particularly smooth, but, you know, all right. And a stop. Wow. The E-135 is definitely very interesting. So, uh, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow, as always. Good night. Oh, oh, we have fallen into the cliff. There we go. <laughs>